I'm Derek, and I'm from Boom Goes the Drum. Contemporary Calgary is an arts organization in the city whose goal is to build a museum uh, for con modern contemporary art in our city, which our city is currently lacking. We're one of the few cities of our size that doesn't have a destination, a major destination for modern contemporary art. Look 2015 is the flagship fundraiser for Contemporary Calgary. Three words to describe Look 2015. Sexy, creative, philanthropic. Not only does it raise funds for that vision, but it also raises a lot of awareness, which is vital for this type of project. We got to take on a mostly abandoned building. Nobody had been in this building for five years, and we got to transform it. There was different rooms, different spaces that people navigated through. There was different things to see. The programming itself was was really interesting. There was unique challenges in that and that we had to assemble 600 people in a room and do a, a real auction, a real live art auction with them. We got to work with a, an amazing auctioneer, Stephen Ranger from Toronto, who it was just, he was absolutely brilliant at what he did. The caliber of art that was in the room that was up for bids was, was like overwhelming almost. There was, there was one piece that sold for over $90,000. To feel what happens in a room where 600 people are watching a piece of sculpture be sold for $90,000 is such a cool thing and then seeing at the other end of the room that there's art that students are buying or people in their 20s have access to. So another dream come true for me was uh, getting to work with Adam Gopnik. I subscribe to The New Yorker, I listen to The New Yorker Out Loud podcast when I work out at the gym. All this stuff happening in a room can feel a little bit overwhelming, a little bit chaotic, especially when you're sort of in the eye of the storm. It is so so much better when you have somebody that just knows exactly what they're doing. We had the incredibly talented Dan Levy, which, which was fantastic. From the pants that he wore to the words that he said, he just, he, did, he fit everything that we wanted him to be that night. We had a lot of creative uh, freedom to be able to decide what the look and the feel of the space was. You know, when you, when you have that creative freedom and you can focus on making the space look gorgeous, lighting it in the right way, making sure audio sounds good, making sure you have the right entertainment in, it really gives you as a producer the opportunity to show what your team can do best. We worked on it for about 10 months and it was, uh, it, it was a very busy 10 months and it was a lot of work. You know, sometimes it feels like you are just like jumping off a cliff and building your event on the way down. But this was very methodical and it was very well thought out and it was uh, intentional to bring the people that had the best skills into the project. Um, and give them enough time to be able to do the right thing. To pull something off like this, what you need is the collaboration of a vast group of people. There's so many layers to something like this. People work for months and months and months to come together and make this a reality for a single night to, to raise a million dollars and to raise the profile of the organization. Sorry, how many dollars? A million dollars. A million dollars. One million dollars. <laughs> Did you raise a million dollars? Yeah, that's how big this thing was. In a city that this didn't exist two years ago, this organization didn't exist two years ago, people came together and raised a million dollars for this organization. It's amazing. Best part of the night was at the end of the auction when we were starting to tally up everything that had been raised. And not only that the energy in the room felt so amazing, but knowing that we raised money and that this party wasn't just a fun, sexy party, it also hit objectives. That was probably the best part for sure. Hey, thanks for watching. Click here to subscribe to our channel and click here for more from Boom Goes a Drum.